Hey G Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So for today's episode, I got this cool part right here that's by the brand called Pinlo. And pretty much what it is, if you guys can't see already, is this toaster. And if you guys remember a while back, I actually tested a product that's by Pinlo and pretty much what it was, it was a wireless doorbell. So this time I have a toaster that's by this brand. So first thing first, let's actually open it up and show you guys what comes inside the package and what it actually looks like. And then we'll do a test of the product and then come back and talk about the product of whether or not it's actually worth it. So first thing first, let's actually open up first. So first thing when you open the package, you guys can see there's that inside. So this is the part where you have to actually put on top of the toaster, which I'll set up in a second to show you guys what I mean. Next up, I believe this is the cover for the product. So when you guys take those two out, we have this compartment right here, we actually had to remove. So when we remove that compartment, you guys can see here the toaster itself. And then underneath the toaster, we have instruction guide of how to use the product and like a thank you card and feedback card. Pretty much telling you guys to give feedback if you guys have any feedback because any feedback will help them uh, make better products for the future. Alright, so here we have the toaster. The color is actually really nice. This one's actually green. So right here, if you guys can see, there's a logo right there that says Pinlo, P-I-N-L-O, and then the material overall actually feels very really nice. When you shake it, you guys can hear it inside. This is actually the part to actually uh, toast the bread. And if we turn on this side, you guys can see there's a different functionalities on here. There's a browning setting, there's a defrost, there's a reheat, and there's a cancel button. So the moment you push this down, right now it's taped up, but the moment you push it down, you guys can actually start the toaster and toast it up. And then um, everything else inside is actually really nice as you see. It's actual real stainless steel material, not cheap or not thick. These are all real stainless steel material. And then here's the wire that it comes with where you guys attach it on to actually use it. Uh, the design of the wire is actually quite interesting because it's actually underneath the product, not anywhere on the side or anything. So you guys actually have a compartment where you guys can actually loop it around to actually keep the wire in place. But the design is actually really interesting. Uh, they have a little part right here where you actually put the wires through to actually hold it to sticking out like that so you can actually plug it onto the wall. So I guess mainly this is for covering dust more than actually cooking because if you guys have this on the toaster where it's toasting, it's going to burn the plastic because this is actually plastic material so you probably don't want to do that. So pretty much how this part works is you have to pull it down like that and you guys actually stick it on top of the toaster so let me show you guys what I mean. So that's how you guys put it and then you can put the bread on top so you guys can actually cool down so when you guys are not eating it, let's just put it up there to cool it down a little bit. And the way how you can close and open this part is if you pull it all the way, then it'll actually lock in. But the way how you close it back up is by pulling both ends like side to side and then push it down like that. Same thing for the other side, push it on both sides like that and then push it down and then it's back to normal. So it's very nice and very compact for this product. So I don't actually have any bread at home right now, but I'm gonna actually plug in right now to show you guys how it works and when it actually works and actually test it out and time it to see when it actually takes that amount of seconds that they say it does. So first thing first, let's go through that first and then come back. All right, so here we have the product. If you guys can see, it's all plugged in right now. We're gonna test it to see when it works. So pretty much how it works is that you press this part down and it turns on. So you can see it's canceled or not. So you wanna change the settings. You guys can change to whatever you want. So one would be 70 seconds. So let's give it a try and see how long it takes. So right now I can already feel the heat and it's only been 22 seconds, but it definitely is getting hot. You can start to smell it now. So it took literally 60 seconds and it's not even 70 seconds. So it said that 70 seconds, so it's actually faster than it says it does. But you guys gotta remember that I actually started recording a little bit late, so that's probably why as well. So it does take around the time that it says that it does. All right, welcome back guys. So now that you guys saw the test of the product, you guys can see that it actually does work. And I'm sorry, I don't have a bread to actually test it out to show you guys, but I will do an update video in the future to actually test it out with the bread when I do get the bread, so I can see it when it actually turns brown and how long it actually works. But as a first-hand product, you guys can see that it actually does work and it does go by the time that it promised for each level, which is amazing. But now that we did the test and did the unboxing of the product, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it from a first-hand perspective and kind of like just testing out a little bit. What you're getting out of this product is actually quite nice. The color scheme is very really nice. The design is actually nice. Stainless steel material and it's actually easy to control. And by the time you guys watch this video, hopefully it still has a discount. But right now, it actually had a lightning deal for $23. And, and if you guys get that lightning deal for $23 or the $50, 15% off code it's still gonna be worth it because it's a lot cheaper than the $32 or $33 then this product would be quite worth it and it actually works really really well um, 
uh, the Tesla a little bit longer to see when actually it's still worth it when you guys use it for a long period of time because a lot of times when you guys first get the product it works amazing but but when you guys use it more and more it actually does not uh, tend to be as good as it used to be and I do recommend getting one of these if you guys want a toaster but if you guys don't want to want these then you guys don't have to buy one because not everybody needs a toaster especially if they don't eat a lot of bread and whatnot or if they just want to eat the bread by itself instead of toast it then perfect and it's actually a lot more healthier to eat the bread just by itself than to toast it anyway so but other than that that's pretty much it for this little unboxing and testing and feedback of the product hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did then make sure to subscribe like and comment down below and as always make sure to stay positive be you and i'll see you guys in the next episode of is it worth it peace and then for today's g squad fan shout out day we have